Hey guys, welcome to this short demo video of Speedy. Speedy turns any website to ultra blazing fast loading, installable, offline usable, mobile friendly super sites that gets top search rankings and tons of free traffic with a few clicks. Trust me, this is the ultimate solution to major problems that eats up 77% of website revenue. Now, Speedy combines three breakthrough technologies, as you can see, PWA, AMP, and FBI. PWA stands for Progressive Web Apps, which actually turns your website to instant mobile app. Now, AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages, which enables your website to load faster than ever in less than three seconds. And FBI allow you to monetize your website with Facebook Ads Network. So now this is the overview page as you can see. So you can see the overall status of your app and all that. The Google AMP, PWA and Facebook Instant Articles. So now we go to PWA. Now as you can see that's progressive web apps. And it uses modern web capabilities to deliver fast native app, app experiences with no app stores or downloads. So now you can see we have the add to home screen button. This allow you to show your website visitors a pop-up button or headline or overlay that instructs them to install your website as a mobile app and they don't even have to download anything. They just add it to the home screen button with the other native app. So to set that, you have to come to this place, give your app a name, so I'm going to put speedy there, as you can see, then short name again, speedy, then front page. Now, select the start page of your web application. So you're going to select the start page of your web application. In this case, I can select this. Then you come to description. So you just give your website description here. So let's say that's my website description. The next thing to do is to select the icon that you want to put here. So I'm going to put in the icon here. Okay, so I'm going to click on the icon, then select the website icon and put it there. So I'm going to select the icon. Okay, so this is it, then click on select bar. So my icon is added automatically. Then the display mode, do you want it to be standalone, full screen or minimal? Just select standalone. Then the next thing, orientation, leave it as default. Then the status bar, do you want white background? This is for iOS, that is for Apple products. Maybe Apple tabs, Apple iPhone or Apple laptop. So white back, so I'll just leave it like that. The team color, so you select the team color of your website. So this is close to the team color of my website. So I'll select this. Then the background color. I'm going to select white. So then installation overlay. How do you want the add to home screen button to appear on your site? Do you want it to, if you want to uh, enable it, then you click here. Then you select the support browser. Default browsers are Google Chrome, Mozilla, and Apple. So then you select the overlay type. Do you want the full screen or you just want it to be a header notification like a header banner? So you can select header banner if you prefer that. So the next thing, let's say you just want to place this code on any part of your website so you can copy this short code and place it there. Then the background color, you can use any background color that you want. So in this case, you can decide to use maybe red. Then text color. Can decide to use white. Then timeout that is choose when to show installation overlays again if they were dismissed. Timeout is in days, so you can put the number of days here. So once you're done, just click on the save settings. As you can see, it's saved automatically. So this adds home screen banner at the top of your site, which enables users to install your website as an instant app on their mobile device. The next thing is offline usable. 
offline user will actually allow your website to load offline that is even if your visitors doesn't have internet connectivity they can access your website so now all you have to do is to select the page that you want to make offline usable so once i select the page the next thing the offline contents select the same page as well you can select as many pages as possible that you want to make usable so that people can even navigate your website even if they are offline so if you want them to be notified that although they are offline but they can still access your website so they are going to be like a header banner at the top of your site telling them that they are offline or they have network issues and is reconnecting but that doesn't stop them from accessing your website so once that is done you can just click on save settings so once you save settings then your website is offline usable it's as simple as that then accessibility now you want them to be able to refresh their your site just by drawing down the page so if you want that you can click on there and then set it so pull down navigation touch screen gesture can you see you can so you can select the background color so you can just use blue like blue so let the color match the theme of your website then the swipe navigation too as well that is if they swipe they can go to the next page or to the back page so if you want to enable that you can enable that as well if you want to enable shake to refresh you can also do that so now if you want to enable vibration to that is it creates vibes on tapping for mobile users you can as well enable or disable that so once you're done you just scroll down can see we have preloader as well if you want to add a nice page loader then you can do that here once you're done just click on save settings and that is saved as well so the next thing is optimization you want to optimize your website can you see catch and minify help your website load faster by minifying and storing your css in catch so you can enable that so it makes your website load very fast and delivery optimization you can enable this as well enable this and you click on save settings so once you're done with that the next thing is the push notification if you want to integrate push notification on your site as well then you have to register with one signal push notification plugin then you input your details here in order to enable push notification is a top party app so the next thing i'm going to talk about is the amp amp is google accelerated mobile pages they makes your website to load very fast and this also affects ranking in google search so now there are two modes it can be paired or amp first if you select pair mode it means as you can see if you choose pair mode it means it's going to load both pma and amp version of your website but if you want your website to be super fast then you select amp first but if you select amp first it means your website your pwa will not be activated on your website which means people won't be able to install your website as a mobile app so whichever one you want to use you select and once you're done with that the next thing you need to do is just to click on save settings as you can see settings saved so we'll move to the next thing which is advertisement now you can also use adsense auto ads with the with the app of machine learning you can see auto ads show ads only when they are likely to perform well and provide a good user experience so you can decide to enable auto ads there then you enter your data ad clients which is your publisher id from your google adsense so this is another way to monetize your website and as you can see you can select where you want the advert to appear maybe above content or below content then you add the responsiveness you can see either you want it to be responsive or you want a specific size you select that you enter your publisher id and the data ad slot as well so once you're done with that if you want the advertisement to be inside the content as well you set it here and if you want it to be below the content you set it here and once you're done you click on the save settings as you can see so now the next thing is the analytics like you can also install google analytics in order to track your website to track your amp pages as well you can also install facebook pixel as you can see so this is just basically tracking so you can track your website using google analytics or 
Facebook pixels, you have task counters and a lot of tracking tools as well. So once you set anyone you want to use your go to go, it also comes with GDPR consent as you can see. So you can enable cookie notice and you drop your message, you can type the message here and you say settings once you're done with that. So that's the power of Google AMP. And the last one I'm going to talk about is the FBIA, which is Facebook Instant Articles. As you can see, it's a tool designed for media publishers to distribute instant and interactive articles to their readers within the Facebook mobile app. So you have to enter your Facebook page ID here. And once you're done with that, you come to the type of post you want to support. You can see posts. So you select post. This is actually good for bloggers. So you put the post there. And once you're done, you click on save settings. Also, you can also monetize your website with Facebook audience network as well. All you have to do is just to enable it here and enter your placement ID. Then you click on save settings. So this is another way of generating passive income from Facebook and also Google. And the last thing we have the analytics as well, where you can also track your website. You can see you can enable analytics and input your Google Analytics code here. And once you're done, you click on the save settings. So this is how powerful speed is. It combines three breakthrough technologies to power your website and turn it to ultra fast loading website that top search engine and gets you tons of free traffic. Thank you.